Today's video features how to remove, inspect, and replace the stripper retaining ring on CD or E station Ultratech guide assemblies. First, we'll use a small flathead screwdriver to remove the retainer ring. Using your free hand, apply pressure to the lock ring at the top of the assembly. Pull the retainer ring from the assembly using your fingers. Now we can remove the lock ring. While keeping pressure on the lock ring, push down and rotate clockwise to remove. Next, we can remove the release button. Now we will remove the ejector pins. Next, we need to remove all five springs. There will be two springs in the relief pocket grooves and three in the ejector pin holes. Once removed, check for damage to all keyways. File if needed. This is usually more common on C station guides. If a retaining ring pin is damaged or missing, now is the time to replace. Inspect our exterior keyways. These can be nicked or damaged. To reassemble, we first do an inspection. Then we will install our springs into the ejector pin slots. For this C station, there will be three springs to install. Next, install our ejector pins with the curved side facing inwards. Install our release button. Next, install our springs into the relief pocket grooves. Our C station will have two springs. The D or E station will have three springs in these groove pockets. Now we need to align the release button and the ejector pins with the lock ring. Push down and turn counterclockwise while keeping pressure on the lock ring. Last, install the retaining ring to lock in place. You can use the screwdriver to help you properly seat the spring in place. Last, we will check the function by unlocking and pushing the release button for proper operation. 